Okay, so let's say you want to draw a logo in Framer X. Um, you start by going here to the creation tab and then click graphic. You can also press G and then create a container. Hi, um, I'm the editor of this video. Um, you can totally import SVGs however you want. And you can also get uh, logos from the Primer X store. Um, but this is just for me <laughs> to show you how to draw vectors. A lot of people are asking. But yeah, I'm quite aware you can import stuff as an SVG. And you can also export as an SVG. So press G and then create a container. I usually tend to do oh, I usually tend to do containers that are squares. So you logos are usually squares. Um, and what's happening is that you're creating a kind of like a frame, but it's like a graphic frame. Um, and then within here, these tools appear. Um, you don't have access to these tools outside of graphics mode um, and then you're going to create a little square you start with that you duplicate by dragging and holding the option value let me do that again click hold option and drag and you create an exact copy double click and then you get access to the to the vector points you grab one of those points and then you can move around. But if you do it softly, Framer X will give you a hint where to stop. And then this is the middle. So far so good. We create a copy. And if you hover over the corner, you get this little, ooh, let's go this way, which is a rotate value. If you hold shift, it will rotate and snap into place. If you don't, it's free fall, Wee! But we press shift to move like that. And then, because these two, we want these two shapes to be one shape, we select them both and we head over to this little section here where you have our Boolean operators. This will unite two shapes, you can subtract intersect, exclude, and join. I will recommend you to play around with these ones and see what happens. But for now, I wanna align them and I wanna... So now, from now on, when you select them, it's, two, it's kinda like grouping, but the difference is that you don't get access to color as a, to color the whole thing. Anyways, and then Click and drag to duplicate and to move it around. This is ugly color. And uh, I think uh, like this. Yeah. We'll see. That's how you draw the framer logo. Obviously, it's not as good, but we'll, you get the point. Well, let's say you're trying to make something more, wait, something more difficult. This is a Nike logo that I'm dragging and dropping from the. It's an image. When you make it big, it gets pixelated. So what we want to do is make it a a graphic. And the first thing I do as a cheat code is go and create a graphic on top of it and what we're gonna do is kind of when you place a piece of paper on top of the answer so you can steal it and then we go into this little one which is a path it's like a free path tool you can you have freedom to do all kinds of shapes so you press on that and you get this little pen you see how it is and you can make dots like this and connect the pen 
and you can close the drawing by selecting the original point that you created and what that does if it gives you a full shape that you can fill it up with something else a color or whatever now we're gonna delete that one and we're gonna I'm gonna zoom in and then we're gonna go back to your pen press B and instead of letting go you're gonna click and drag and you see this little wee this little kind of like arms there the little dot it's creating I'll explain to you what happens when you do but you're gonna stretch and then create another dot click and drag click and drag and you wanna you wanna get the points that are farther away click and drag click and drag and then close now it's all messed up don't worry we'll fix it but that's essentially the original shape then you're gonna click the original dot and then you'll go So far so good. So far so good. Something else that I do is I make all of this red, even the stroke, so you can see your mistakes. And then I lower the opacity just a little bit. And so we end up with it. All the mistakes, we're getting close. It's not as perfect, but it's. See that we're messing up here. There's things that we can do better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's all it is, people. Oh, there we go. We make it black, make it full width. And now what we end up with is that this graphic is a logo graphic. Eh, it's not perfect. I got, I'm definitely gonna go back in fix it up a little bit but the difference between this and this is that when you grow this one it's pixelated so you really want the crispy one to be your source of truth so let's do the last one which is the apple logo famous apple logo for this we're gonna do the same thing press G for graphic we're gonna draw on top of it maybe like over here and then we're gonna start right from the top I always start with the edges these little sharp edges and then I go to the far there because you know you can adjust the curve later and then here where you put the points you're gonna have to learn by practice but over the years I have like click and drag click and drag people over the years I've perfected sort of my technique and people can do this however they want I always just click over the hill and on the edges and don't worry we're gonna go back to these in a little bit but so far we got the original shape that's what you want you want to get the original shape and then you close it up click and drag okay so far so good so we're gonna fix some of these double click we're gonna so if you double click i think it, it goes back to the original but if you press option alt you see all of the things that you can little handle and then here Also, if you bring a logo back here, it will convert it. But this is much fun when you draw it yourself because you have more precision. So 
at the upper logo thank you for watching how to draw vector shapes on framer x for more tutorials ping me on twitter i don't know bye <laughs>